Okay, Heretic you here um, with part three of our ongoing Malifaux battle report. The 30 Soulstone scrap between myself and Jake um, playing Molly uh, from the Resurrectionist faction. And uh, Jake will be playing Outcast. He's playing the Victorious. Um, so we're going to just jump right into turn three. Uh, I missed the initial uh, flip for who goes first, but I got first turn, so let's go right to the video. So uh, first thing I do is I activate Molly, and I'm casting Shocking Truth on the remaining Victoria. You can see my casting flip there. Um, now at this point Jake is losing the duel and decides to cheat up. But of course he couldn't, uh, he must have had a bad control hand because he couldn't uh, cheat that much. Um, so I had a negative one twist and you don't see it on the camera but I flipped two moderates so he took moderate damage and slow. Okay so now I'm going full spam mode. I'm gonna cast the same spell, Shocking Truth, same target, Victoria's. <clears throat> I um, Flip an 11, Jake is forced to cheat, and the spell fails. Next thing I do is a little bit risky. I wanted to bring some reinforcements, so I tried to do Undead Construction. At that point, I only had a Low Crow in my hand, so I've, I cheat in a Low Crow and Soul Stone, and I need at least an 8 combined total, I admit. So at this point, Jake activates uh, the last remaining Victoria, strikes the uh, necromatic machine um, flips a red joker for damage and does 10 or 11 points so that is really dead um, he uses his next action to attack Madam Sybil so he's just trying to clean up that area there with her um, I'm winning he cheats and he uh, wins the total duel but um, I did uh, have Molly activate Necromatic Spray, so he did some damage to Sybil and took one damage in return. So back to me. I want to flurry with Madam Sybil, so I discard a card so I can perform that action. I flip a one, so that's a miss. My next combat attack, I do a little bit better. Flip a 12. Um, he cheats up a little bit to make up the damage, but I got my rot trigger, so he unfortunately burns the soul stone and still I get a straight flip with the rot trigger and I flip a severe and take uh, the Victoria out. So Jake uh, destroys his first piece of evidence there and um, tries to cast a spell. I'm not sure what he tried to cast, but it failed. So we're moving on. So then I activate the dead Doxy. She takes a pop shot and at the 10 Thunder Brother uh, misses on the first attack. Hits on the second. Um, it's a double negative, so I'm flipping three, but it's enough to take him out of the game. So he drops a nice little corpse counter for me. There you go. Next, uh, Jake activates his Trapper, who takes a uh, range shot at the dead Doxy. You see our duel right there. Uh, Jake ends up winning the duel. Uh, I do force him into a negative two uh, twist. So he's flipping three cards, picking the lowest. It's enough to, to kill her off. But, um, and he gets his trigger, which pushes him closer to another piece of evidence. I do end up doing a little switch with the bell and the doxy, so she heals one and the bell takes two. Next, uh, second action, he shoots at the newly positioned bell. Uh, he, he wins the duel, but I do put a double negative on that shot as well. So he's slipping three cards, picking the lowest. He does one point of damage, but more importantly, he gets his uh, 
his little push trigger and moves right up on the objective. Here I make my first tactical mistake in my opinion. I decide to cast Lure on the Ronin, which I should have casted Lure on that Trapper to move him off the objective. But nonetheless, in the heat of battle, um, you make mistakes like this. Here's our, our little willpower duel. She fails it, she moves in. Um, when that happens, I get a free uh, combat strike. So we duel off, and she misses. And um, I still have one more action. So uh, we duel off again, and I miss again. So now Jake uh, activates the Ronin, declares a melee strike against the Rotten Bell. And I flip a red joker, so first attack misses. Uh, second action, he does the same. Um, this time I decide not to cheat. The the difference total though does put him at a negative two twist, so he flips three cards and does two damage. Takes one in return for necromatic spray, so um, Molly is definitely helping out. Final action for the Ronin is a swing and a miss. So Jake, having more models than I, uh, gets to activate another model, which he activates the Ronin, declares a charge, has to take a terrifying check because of Madame Sybil's terrifying ability, passes that. Um, we go into the combat duel. Um, Jake is winning, but there's a negative twist, so he'll take the lowest and he'll do a couple points of damage. Yes. Second strike, um, he's winning. At this point, not a lot of cards in my hand to cheat fate with, so I um, cheat enough to make a negative twist, which is great because he flips a black joker for damage. Uh, he also gets his uh, next target trigger, so we're resolving that. Uh, again, he's winning the duel targeting Mad Madam Sybil. Um, I do force a negative two twist, so he's flipping three cards again, picking the lowest. Uh, he does a couple points of damage there, and takes one for Necromatic Spray. But he gets the trigger off again, this time flipping a Red Joker, and at this point I know Madam Sybil is about to die, even with low damage. Um, can't save her, so I just let it stay. He gets a negative twist, takes her out. And I declare my slow to die action, which is a strike. And of course, I miss with that. So Madam Sybil goes down yet again. For, and the Ronin still isn't done. Uh, after Madam Sybil dies, uh, pushes onto the dead Doxy and declares another strike. This time I flip a 13, I'm feeling pretty good. But Jake's not having that. He is going to cheat in. He's gonna do as much damage as possible. Um, he does uh, cheat enough to win the duel, putting him at a negative two twist, but it's still, or ne negative three twist. Uh, but I um, use the Dead Doxy's ability once again to swap places with Molly, so she's still alive. So onto the turn summary here. Uh, Resurrectionists have scored a two for contained power, killed both Victorias. So no masters are on the board for the outcast. Two VP for framed murder, and uh, still holding on to more corpse counters there, uh, but he still has a lot of models left. And for the Victorias, they're still holding on to the two VP for first blood. Um, they, I'm, I wasn't too sure about the soulstone count at this point. Um, they might have more, I'm not sure. He burned a lot though. So I'm saying 2 VP as of right now. So uh, score is 5 to 2.